Hi, this is Wes Fryer, and in this screencast, I'd like to show you how you can download the standard EPUB version of my ebook, Playing with Media, and you can open it on any laptop or desktop computer running the Macintosh operating system or Windows operating system using a free program called Adobe Digital Editions. The way you're going to do this is first, you're going to download the book, and so when you go to the Playing with Media site, you're going to see links that say add to cart and this would be for the iPad version this is for the Kindle version and this next thir third one is what we want which is the standard EPUB version and so we're going to go ahead and click this link that says add to cart and it's going to open up a new link um, you're going to go ahead and click the checkout and uh, if you're purchasing check it out either via PayPal or with Google checkout in this case I've applied a discount code and so I'm going to go ahead and click checkout and it's not going to require me to um, actually put in um, my money since I'm using a discount code. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put in um, name and email and then I'm going to go ahead and complete my checkout and once I submit this it is going to give me an actual download link that I can click on and save the file. So right here it says click here to download playing with email the uh, Playing With Media eBook standard EPUB version. Rather than just click that link, what I recommend you do on a Mac is hold down Control and click that link, or if you're using your touchpad and you've got a secondary click, which works like a right mouse button um, or right click, I'm going to choose Save Link As, and then what I'm going to do is put this on my desktop. So I'm going to click Desktop, and that's where I'm going to save this book. The reason for that is I want to find this book in just a minute and open it up on Adobe Digital Edition. So what I have done now is downloaded the book, and uh, I'll pan over here so you can see. It doesn't have an icon associated with it because... I haven't opened it up yet, and I, my computer might not know how to handle an EPUB file. So what I need to do now is download, if I haven't already, Adobe Digital Editions. Now, I have a link here at the top of the Playing With Media eBook page that says a Help With eBooks page is available. And so that's what um, this page actually is here. It says Help With eBooks, and there's several questions. And the one we're going to go to is... I don't have an e-reader yet. How can I read your ebook I bought and downloaded? So we're going to click here, and you can see there are several different programs that are all free that will let you open the ebook on your device. And what I'm going to model here is I'm going to go to Adobe Digital Editions. So I'm going to open this in a new link, and I'm going to download this file so that I can install it. So there's a link that says Download Now. And then since I'm on a Mac, I'm going to click the Mac version, and it's going to download this installer to my computer. And I'm going to run this installer so that it will put this application inside my Applications folder, and I'll be able to run that. So I'm using the Chrome web browser here. If you're using Safari or a different web browser, it may look a little bit different. But you're going to want to click on that Download, and then it is going to open up that file and you should see that in the Finder. And so this is what I'm seeing here. And my Finder now is Digital Editions 2.0 Installer. I'm going to double-click this, and I'm going to go through these installation steps and basically just click Continue, Agree, and Install. And then I'm going to need to put in my password, my administrator password, so that I can install the software, and it's going to go into my Applications folder of my computer. So there was an older version. Uh, I'm going to just uh, skip it and hopefully it'll overwrite it. And now it is done. So I'm going to click close. So I'm now done with this um, program here or with this uh, window. And Adobe Digital Editions has opened up on my computer so that I can um, open up a file. So if I go to the file menu and I choose add to library, this is where I need to find my ebook. And that's why I saved it on my desktop. So when I click on desktop, there I can see my EPUB playing with media standard.epub. And I'm going to go ahead and click add. And now that book is available here in Adobe Digital Editions in my library. I'm going to double click it. And I am in the ebook. And I can go ahead and browse and start reading this book. 
Um, you'll notice that you've got a table of contents here. So if I want to skip directly to a section, like the chapter on images, I can do that. I can hide my table of contents just like I can, or similar to what I can do with a regular e-reader. I can change my text size to make my text larger or smaller. I can go ahead and scroll down through this. And again, always returning here to the table of contents whenever I want to, to go to that section. One of the great things about using the desktop version is that not only can you click here on a hyperlink that goes to, uh, in this case, a glossary term, so you can see what the definition of that is. Um, you can also uh, click live hyperlinks, and those are going to take you outside of Adobe Digital Editions and take you to that website. And in the case of videos, I'll go to the chapter here on video, and we'll scroll down a little bit um, to see a video. Um, if I click on this video um, source, or, or I guess the footnote for that, there's the link um, to the image, and then there is, um, I guess, the actual uh, YouTube playlist, and so I can click and immediately go to YouTube. So with a standard EPUB, you cannot um, have the, the videos embedded right inside your book, but you can, in this case, because I'm on a laptop computer, you know, go to all the hyperlinks for the book. So I hope that has been helpful. Again, this has been a demonstration of how you can use the free software program called, uh, oops, didn't mean to do that, Adobe Digital Editions to open up a standard EPUB book. And uh, you can find uh, this screencast and other tips on the help page. Um, for uh, ebooks, and you can find that by going to my blog, Moving at the Speed of Creativity, and underneath the publications link for ebooks, I've got that link that says Help with ebooks. So, good luck and have fun playing with media.